Hello friends, today we are going to be reading Ellie by Mike Wu. Ellie is our elephant friend. And here on the first page, we see a gate to a zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? What was your favorite animal? at the zoo. Well, let's keep reading to see what these zoo animals are up to. Ellie. On a bright winter day when Ellie was just finishing her lunch, the zookeeper came by with an announcement. Gather round, Walt called. I have some news. It is a sad day, he said. The zoo is closing. The animals were heartbroken. Do you, you know what that word heartbroken means? Let's look at these animals' faces. What do they, how do you think they're feeling? Yeah, they're sad and they're upset. So whenever you read the word heartbroken, that means that they're really sad and upset. There must be something we can do, Ellie whispered to her friends. The zoo is our home. Perhaps we can spruce it up a bit, Gerard suggested. Gerard always has good ideas. I'll prune the trees, Lucy said, nibbling a leaf. If only my trunk were longer, said Ellie. I'll move this rock, Gerard huffed, clearing it off the path. If only my muscles were bigger, said Ellie. We've already cleaned here, said the monkeys. What can I do to help? Ellie wondered. What is happening to our friend Ellie? It seemed like everyone had a talent. Everyone but Ellie. How is Ellie feeling? Look at her face and while she's walking, she has her head hanging low. Usually, you see that when somebody is feeling sad and upset. Ellie thought she'd ask Walt to give her a job, but he was busy too. When the monkeys called him away, Ellie picked up the strange object he'd been holding. It had smooth wood on one side and prickly hairs on the other. What is Ellie holding? What do you think Ellie's going to do with that paintbrush? Let's find out. Ellie gave it a try. When Walt returned and saw the creation, he sprinted down the path without a word. Had she ruined the wall, she thought? Soon, she heard a wagon with squeaky wheels turn the corner. Maybe Walt did like her painting. Ellie added color here and a rainbow there. There were so many walls to color and so many colors to try. Ellie painted all of her friends. She painted the tallest one, the smartest one, and the quietest one. Word spread of Ellie's talent. So Ellie's talent is her ability to paint and be creative. What's one of your talents? What's something you're good at?
people came from all over the city to have their portraits painted. Some with balloons, others came with awards. Ellie even painted Mr. Mayor with a smile. How do you think Ellie feels now? What from the text or pictures are making you think that? Soon, people from all around the world came to see Ellie, the remarkable painting elephant. Lucy hosted the crowds as they arrived at the zoo. Gerard led tours through Ellie's art gallery. And, ready? On a bright spring day, with crowds cheering him on, Walt declared, we are open for good, thanks to Ellie. Ellie's art, Ellie using her talents, helped save the zoo. She helped Walt and all the other zoo animals. And then there is a picture of the zoo. Now, I want you to think it in your head. What were some of the similarities among the animals? And what were some differences? One thing I know was the same was they all, all of the animals wanted to help save the zoo. And a difference was that they all had different talents. They all had different things they were good at because the giraffe has a long neck so he could put in trees. Whereas the other animals couldn't do that. And Ellie was the only one who could paint like that. So their, all of their differences, they really came together to help the zoo. So even though you may be, have some differences than from people in your family, or you may be different um, and have different talents um, than people in your school, you guys do have similarities that bring you together to help others and to help love on others. All right, bye friends.